Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined out with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys travel up to Stevens, have a good first half, pretty solid, struggle a little bit offensively in the second half. How do you guys find that consistency that you're looking for and need heading into the postseason? Well, I think all year in the first half of games, we've really put ourselves in some great situations <coughs> Excuse me, to do well. And uh, that goes back to the Tufts game, the York game. Um, a lot of those games we've done, we've struggled in the second half a little bit. I think it's mostly due to our mental toughness a little bit. we really got to start being a little more mentally tough and to handle situations better and learn to make more of the plays to win the game than lose the game. I think sometimes when we get really on a roll, we get going, and then all of a sudden our guys think, oh, it's going to be kind of easy, and we make some mistakes that allow teams to get back into it. Our guys care. They want to do well. They want to be successful, but we got to make start making better plays in the second half, and uh, I think we made some changes going into our uh, Messiah game, uh, but, you know, the Stevens Tech game was a tough game. You know, it was a monsoon. You know, they played zone, but it's no excuse. We had a lot of chances to win that game, and we didn't shoot the ball really well, and we allowed a little momentum to get back into it, but you got to give Stevens credit up at their field, and uh, in those conditions, they handled it. We didn't handle it as well in the second half, and, uh, but we bounce back well, and um, you know that's important moving forward now into the conference play that we just make those corrections and uh, learn how to win those games. Yeah, you mentioned that Messiah game. You guys travel there with number one seed on the line. Eight to eight at halftime, you guys come out and are able to put it away. Is that the type of response you're looking to in adversity? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we knew we were going to win that game, actually. This is the amount of the face-offs. We didn't face off really well in the first half. Uh, you know, our freshman getting a little bit tired. Justin's had a great year, but he got a little bit tired. I think we got to rest him a little bit for a couple of days. So he'll be fresh to go on Wednesday. Uh, but we, once we started getting that, we kind of started getting on a roll, especially in the fourth quarter. So I thought we made some great strides. We made some lineup changes. We started a, a freshman, uh, Colin Mason, and played another one, Matt Bowman, at attack a little bit. And we started uh, Tyler Furman, uh, which was great. And then I think, you know, our change in our first midfield line, bumping Alley. Haver up and Watson to the first line really gives us a dynamic midfield and a, and a very good second midfield now with Karasian and Ethan Christensen and Pritchard. So it gives us a, a little more balance there. And Wade coming off the bench with the first two midfield lines in that attack, playing all over the place, really makes it a little bit difficult for teams to guard. So once we got used to the lineup, I thought we did really well and you know, really, really looking forward to the conference tournament this week. Is talk about that conference tournament. We don't know who we're playing yet on Wednesday. Yep. It's either going to be Widener or Lebanon Valley. Talk a little bit about both of those teams. Well, they're both really dangerous teams. You know, I think they both got good goalies and both play really stout defense and you know we have to do a good job you know Widener's got a good face-off guy as we do so we got to we play them we got to control that if not we you know we play Lebanon Valley do a great job controlling the pace of the game so you know we just got to do what we got to do I think we just got to play with a little more intensity a little more desire a little more uh, uh, wanting to practice each and every day you know it's playoff time you got to want to practice every day and so but I think if we just maintain that and our focus we're going to be all right but obviously you know the conference tournament is always tough you got to play your best lacrosse at the end of the year and hopefully we're starting to do that. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week, and we'll be watching that other play-in game this evening to see who we're playing. I appreciate it, Joe. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.